What's up guys? Welcome back to another uh, training day footage uh, video here at <coughs> Strength. Uh, warming up for my deadlifts today with some uh, Ukrainian deadlifts, so uh, kettlebells on our plyo boxes. Uh, it's just been really uh, enjoyable for me to kind of relearn uh, some positioning issues that I've been messing around with for sumo. Uh, it's been great for opening up my adductors as well. Uh, if you pay attention to our channel here or our social media elsewhere, uh, we're really big on uh, improving our range of motion through loaded movements as opposed to just stretching, uh, which is a pretty common theme you'll see in almost all my warm-ups that we post here. Uh, I'm hardly ever just sitting on the floor and stretching, uh, which is the exact idea behind these. I'm essentially forcing myself down into an upright of a, as upright of a position as possible, uh, with holding the kettlebells between my legs, similar to a sumo stance, and putting a lot of stress on those adductors, obviously like, an appropriate level of stress, not overdoing it. And uh, as you can see in the video, I'll do half my reps kind of like a more of a squat-like pattern, kind of sit into my hips really well. And then I'll do the other half of my reps more of like a stiff-legged fashion uh, to kind of help uh, stretch out like my lower back and my hamstrings a little bit more. So I'm kind of targeting uh, both ends of the spectrum there. Uh, but yeah, loaded movement over static stretching uh, win, wins 10 times out of 10 in my book. Uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching my deadlift day today, guys. A pretty straightforward session. Um, started with conventional pulls at about 80%. Uh, did a couple triples there. And then did my sumo work as secondary work for the day, which is something that I've done with a lot of success in the past. Uh, implemented that when working with Trevor Jaffe a few years back. Done it with a number of my sumo pullers as well. Uh, in like an off-season setting, uh, we essentially, we use conventional or whatever variation of a conventional pull that we want to use as the primary work to obviously strengthen the deadlift pattern. And then we keep sumo work in as a secondary movement with a much lighter weight range to continue to drive uh, the skill side of the pattern to maintain the sumo pattern. And then when we get to the point where we're closer to meet, we simply flip flop the two and sumo becomes the primary work and like the primary driver for continuing to progress our strength. Um, so it's just a really easy way to mix up your deadlift training and not like pull primarily sumo all the fucking time if you're a sumo puller. So something to think about. Uh, as far as my own pulls today, uh, I did uh, pause sumo as a back down. I've really been trying to uh, get re-familiar with how I used to set up and pull and wedge with my sumo stance, getting a little, uh, kind of steering away a little bit from having a very quad dominant uh, setup and push off the floor and kind of getting better at wedging my hips into the bar again. It was kind of weird how I showed that. I feel like standing up, I'm tired. Uh, so we're doing pauses like directly off the floor to kind of get re-familiar with that whole positioning and initiation of that wedge again. Uh, you can see that I'm trying to pause just off the floor. I'm not pausing at the shin or anything like that. So another great tool uh, 
another useful way to implement, implement pauses in your own training uh, if you haven't in the past or if you have and felt like you haven't got very much out of them. Uh, so yeah, that pretty much wraps up today. Uh, don't really have much else to add except that we'll be doing the same shitty stuff next week.